right, so I've, uh, I've just unboxed this and I've done a quick, very quick unboxing video. I didn't want to go into too much detail on, on the unboxing, to be honest with you, I, I just wanted to get it out and have a look. Um, it's uh, a very hot Friday evening over here and I've waited all day for this to turn up. Now I was hoping to get out and I'm still wondering if I can get out tonight. It's staying light till 10 o'clock at night. But uh, yeah, so uh, I kind of I was eager to get it out, and uh, I'm not a big fan of unboxings. But I just wanted to go into why I why I bought one of these. Really, it's not the obvious thing for me to do. I mean, uh, I'm normally building sort of cars which do 60 miles an hour. Um, the problem the problem I found with building cars that go faster and faster and faster, especially the bigger scale ones, is it gets harder and harder and harder to run them anywhere. Um, so just taking one out becomes a real, real difficult job. Um, and I like to go out with the RC and kind of lose myself in it. Um, with the time, with the time of year it is over in the UK at the moment, um, we're having a one month long heat wave at the moment. Everybody is in all the spots where I'd normally take the RC. Um, and sometimes people don't want an RC buzzing around them. Um, so, and, I, and also I, I wanted to get myself out away from people, not in amongst them all with one of these. But um, the big appeal with one of these is there's lots of walks and trails around where I live, through the countryside. Um, and and, and I, what I really wanted to do for myself was be able to get out uh, with a backpack and go for some really long, nice walks through the countryside. Now, you can't do that with anything that goes quickly. You, it, it just doesn't work. It's not what they're for. These are actually totally intended for that purpose. So you can go for a walk and walk for two hours and still be on the same battery. Um, obviously, these things don't go as quickly as you would do normally, but that's the point. You're, you're just going out for a walk and having a nice time. Um, I love filming things nowadays. Um, I really, really do enjoy filming the RCs when they're out. Probably as much as I do driving them now. And uh, I can do some nice filming out in the countryside with one of these. Obviously, it's not going to be the same as, what, as, as having a car flying around and going ever so fast. Um, it's, just, it's all totally different kettle of fish. But really, it's a good excuse for me to get out, get some time to myself, um, go and walk in the country. Probably the opposite of what I'm doing now with the other ones, which is plunking myself in the middle of quite a few people. Um, and some of those cars are going so quick and making so much noise. Um, where I live, it's starting, it is starting to get on some people's nerves. So, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's the ideal escape from that, really. I can just go for a nice walk. Um, <clears throat> but that, yeah, I just wanted to say, really, why, why I've done this, because it doesn't really, perhaps it doesn't add up for me to go out and buy a, you know, a, a scale crawling truck that doesn't do more than 10 miles an hour. But yeah, um, that's the logic behind it. Um, I think it'd give me a good outlet to just go out and uh, and chill out, especially when I'm doing some filming as well. So yeah, that's really what I want to say on this video. Um, I'm going to go into what I know about this next. Um, so I'll make a video about what I know about this. I'm no expert on these, so I'll just go through what I know about them. Also, what I'll do is I'll go through what I know of the problems on them. Every RC's got problems, but uh, I've done a lot of research on these, so uh, I'll go into what I know next. Cheers, guys.